Magnetic excursions on Earth were once thought to take thousands, if not tens of thousands of years. And many of the textbooks and universities and even graduating geologists believe that magnetic reversals happen every 700,000 years or so. Now, this couldn't be further from the truth. In recent years, in just the last decade, high resolution stratigraphy, proxy data, speleothem studies, and other avenues have uncovered the fact that magnetic reversals are not important, and it's the magnetic excursions. Full polar flips are rare at best, but what is the main driver of climate and catastrophe on Earth are the magnetic excursions, and we'll tell you why by the end of this video. Now, in the last decade, we now know that magnetic excursions happen quite regularly. There's one happening right now. The last major excursion was the Gothenburg 12,000 years ago. Lake Mungo prior to that 23,000 years ago. The Mono Lake at 35,000. The Le Champ at 45. Vostok at 60. And the North Atlantic Anomaly at 72,000. Now... These are estimated dates because many of the dating methods give you plus or minus of a few thousand years. So we can go either way. But there is a definite 12,000 year periodicity or so to these numbers. And also recent discoveries in the last decade have shown that magnetic reversals cause massive climate shifts. And not just that, they also call, cause mass extinctions. And why should we be, we, be, we be worried? Why should we be worried? Well, the Earth's shield has been weakening since the 1600s. And around 1900, it rapidly began weakening. And in this graphic, you can see that around 2000, we began to drop straight down with each five years exponentially greater. So by 2025, 2030, our magnetic field could potentially be approaching, well, zero. That's a pretty scary thought because without the magnetic shield on Earth, anything coming from us from space, cosmic radiation, solar flares, etc., well, they'll come right in. And that's not good news for human life or the modern society that we're living in. Now, this pole shift has begun quite a bit ago, back in 1600. As the pole was wandering around, as it usually does, something changed. And around 1800, the pole started racing towards the actual rotational pole of Earth and accelerating. And it's been doing so ever since. And that's not good news, because this acceleration means that we are currently living the next magnetic excursion. We have a nice graphic at the end to show you that. But a paper coming out this month, a 62 kiloyear geomagnetic paleo intensity record from the Tamir Peninsula in the Russian Arctic just adds more weight and credibility to what we've been talking about. Now what they studied is lake deposits that span, well, quite some time and what they have found in the study of the core samples from the lake is excellent evidence of the Le Champ and the Mono Lake excursion as well as carbon 14 two sigma errors at other excursion points pretty fascinating I'll leave you links to the PDF for yourself and the study goes back almost 60,000 years where you can see the mass extinction that killed the Neanderthals here. This is the most significant event in recent history. It happened about 42,000 years ago, and it was the end of the Neanderthal. And if you just look at some of the graphs from this recent study, the drop-down is indicative of similar drop-offs where mass extinctions and large magnetic excursions occurred. And we're entering the next one folks now
this paper was a real eye opener. And here, let's come to this high resolution data set. Now, we showed you the LeChamp and the Mono Lake and other magnetic excursions that happened since then in recent time, but they show up and they pale in comparison to the LeChamp drop down. And the Black Lake stack really doesn't show it that significantly, except it shows a very long period of low field intensity here, which could correlate to the LeChamp. But what I want you to glean is the drop down. Current time is to the left. When these graphs get vertical, there's a huge dip. Vertical down, there's a huge dip. And we are entering the next huge dip. And we already know the role of geomagnetic field intensity in late quaternary evolution of humans and mammals. We've bloviated over this, peep, this paper time and time again, which shows all of the known geomagnetic excursions going back 300,000 years, including the Gothenburg here. Another magnetic excursion at the end of the Younger Dryas event here at 11.5, even 10.5 before the big increase. And then that cooling event around 8,000 years ago triggered again by the magnetic field. Now these known magnetic excursions are not, well, they're not well accepted. It's not part of the current nomenclature in geophysics or geology. It's too new. But what I'm sure is known is that the 42,000 year event was significant because it has been used by fear mongers in the climate realms to prove a point that global warming will cause a mass extinction. The only problem is 42,000 years ago, there was no human global warming, nothing anthropogenic. This drop down here in two phases was caused by a magnetic excursion which lasted, which began here and lasted for 8,000 years and got so severe that many megafauna ended. And the first blip killed off other species. There's a direct correlation between the magnetic field intensity and biological life on planet Earth. And right after this drop down, we had huge speciation. Yes, evolution occurred. New species spontaneously showed up. You're looking at the Iron Cross, the cosmic catastrophe cycle. It runs in a 24,000 year day, the great year. And on the flexure point, every 12,500 years, there's a cosmic catastrophe in the form of an ice event, a change from glacial to interglacial. It's been happening for quite some time now. And then there's a secondary flexure point in the middle. This is the flood of Noah. This is the flood of Atlantis. We're living on the next inception of the Ice Age. That's the flexure point you're on. And it's triggered by the reversing magnetic fields on planet Earth, period. No comet is needed. No nonsense. In fact, it's a galactic scale reversal caused by a galactic wave which is episodic and periodic and has been happening since the beginning of geologic time on our planet. The Great Year is one of the most warned about historical scenarios in antiquity that we know about. And the work of Von Deschen and Hamlet's Mill proved the point that the precession of the equinoxes was encoded by the megalithic builders in all of the ancient structures. And for what reason? Because it's that important. When the field strength of our Earth starts to switch, it does it rapidly. 
The effects are global. The effects are tragic and catastrophic. Now, during these times, we have increased earthquake activity, volcanism, plate movement, crustal deformation, increased cosmic radiation from space, mass extinctions, and the end of the empire, for certain. Global floods and other catastrophes. Evolution occurs, for goodness sakes. So, for anyone that claims you can prepare for this event, well, they're probably being disingenuous. But what you can do is prepare to be ready for any eventuality because they will be eventual and there will be great and many obstacles to overcome in the times that come. Boom! The geomagnetic field drives biological life on our planet. When it's strong, we're all protected. Times are great and crops prosper. When it's weak, things get bad. Mass extinctions occur and geophysical activity increases. Huge earthquakes, the largest volcanic eruptions ever known occur on these times. Super volcanic eruptions. Multiple eruptions and multiple earthquakes, tsunamis, shifts in weather patterns, and then, and then the Ice Age. It's not hypothetical. All data sets point to Earth's weakening magnetic shield. And the magnetic excursion, will, we are all living. Now is the time to prepare. Time is running out. We're entering solar cycle 25, and we're ramping up to solar max. And at the same time, our shields are weak. And that means minor solar aberrations and perturbations like CMEs are going to start to affect the planet and human populations. Cosmic rays cause people to go crazy, like the full moon effect. They cause co cognitive diminution, as well as cardiac events. So people will die and suffer and go crazy. Some of us are immune and will rise to the occasion because proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in the dystopian world that we live in where people at the top that know this information are not warning the general public. That's because you're a useless eater and you're part of the problem. It's not your fault. But if you're awake and you understand and you're picking up what we're putting down, then you're preparing slowly but steadily for the inevitable. I hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance during a magnetic reversal, which we're living. There's a 99% chance it's just a magnetic excursion. But if you were listening, it doesn't matter. Magnetic excursions are just as dangerous and destructive as magnetic reversals. The only difference is they're episodic and periodic. And the next one is happening now. Right now. Time is ticking. The earthquakes come later. First, the grid goes down. That means no Netflix, no internet, nothing. Back to the Stone Age. And then global unrest. Before the volcanoes and the earthquakes, the entire empire will be down. So sleep on it. Think about what your preparations include. Because when the power goes off, it's game on. Prepare with the ranch.com for long-term food storage. And be safe. We love you. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video. Comment below and be safe. We love you. That's a boom to knowledge. Nanu, nanu, nanu.